Hello, and this is Tina. Welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today I am doing yet another comparison to let you see the inside contents of the everything you need to know to ace the math in one bit fat notebook and everything you need to know about math. Excuse the cover. It was written on with a permanent marker, but the contents in the book are still excellent. So I wanted to just compare these two. Um, like I said, this one is geared towards middle school, the years of middle school, this one. And this one is geared towards elementary. Um, it depends on what state you're in, whether or not sixth grade is considered middle school or not. Here, we start sixth grade. It's considered middle school from where I am. So um, this is geared towards grade six, fourth through six. So I just wanted you to see the inside of it. So if you was wondering about whether or not you want to purchase it or not. Like I said before in my previous video, what I particularly love about these particular books is that it's big font, beautiful color, and it's not too much information. It's just enough. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, this book starts out talking about the numbers and the number system, the basic math functions, um, measurements, geometry, money, monetary system, graphs, statistics, and probabilities, and computers and calculations. This is the contents that will be discussed in this particular book. Not only do they discuss that, they also discuss how it was in ancient times with their number system, as you can see. And it compares from our number system, how we configurate numbers here in the United States, and also compares them to times of the past, which I really like. As you can see, they do discuss Roman numerals in this book. I also supplement with other um, worksheets and other math curriculum um, with this book as well. My son also used um, Life of Fred and teaching textbooks. My daughter, she uses Learn Math Fast and she also uses the Math Tutor DVDs. So I have two students with two different kinds of learning styles but this book fits very well for my son. And as you can see, this is how this look. I just want you to get just a brief look on the inside. Look at all the brilliant color. It's a big book, very nice. It's very appealing to the eye, just to give you an idea of what's inside this book to help you decide whether or not you wanna purchase this book or not. Okay. Let me just flip through for that. Uh oh, that was a good one. I'll show it to you. And check this out. And go back a page. Yeah. Geometry. Talking about calendars and different time zones, which is very important angles, money, graphs, and etc. Computers as well. And that was everything you need to know about math geared towards grades fourth through sixth grade, ages nine and up. Now, this is the everything you need to know to ace math in one bit fat notebook. This is geared specifically for middle school grades. Now, this is the copy that my daughter will be using. And as I said before, this is not one of those, it's, as you can see, it's not as big as the other book, but it's still a very, very good size. This book, like I said, is mostly doodles, but it's still well done. This book, I'm gonna start out talking about the number system, ratios and proportions, percentages, expressions and equations. Geometry, statistics, and probability, the coordinated plane, and the functions. So you will start off with chapter one with the number line and integers and ratios and etc. Positive number and negative numbers. Very cute little doodles and highlights and colors. So it, it is appealing to the child as well. Like I said, these books are more like doodle form with the drawings because it's mostly like an example of what a child's notebook would look like taking notes. That's the whole gist of this book. 
borrowing notes from the smartest kid in middle school or that middle school class that's the just behind this book and this is supposed to be their notes actually so it's a doodle as you, can see it. So as you can see a lot and what I particularly like you can check your knowledge after you read each chapter you check your knowledge these are the questions and you answer them and then the child can actually come along and check their own answers on the page the next page so each chapter has a check your knowledge page 10 questions long and then if they don't understand it can go back through it and redo it again what i do i just give my child more worksheets of different things to work on it and i also pull out that math to the dvd and he explains this much better than I do dealing with this. So, this is basically how it looks on the inside, just to give you an idea before you decide to purchase it or whether or not you want to purchase this book or not. So, I hope this helps you, and you have a good day. Bye!